Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all of his benefits. Good evening, my precious brothers and sisters in Christ, my sons and daughters, all children of God. We thank you for being on the line tonight as we continue to journey towards Calvary and then on to resurrection morning. <laughs> What a joy it is for me to welcome my good friend and brother, the Reverend Dr. William Watley, who is the former pastor, the retired pastor of St. Philip AME Church, but continues to travel across this nation, preaching and teaching and leading others. And so we are delighted that he thought it not robbery to be with us tonight. I, believe he's still a friend of ours. We, I know that he is, I'm just teasing him. You know, we have an annual lunch date. And so we had one recently. We call it annual because we're so busy. <laughs> we try to do it more often and we're gonna work on it this year. <laughs> but um, we are grateful tonight again for his presence as he leads us in meditation on this Tuesday night, Holy Tuesday of Holy week meditation and prayer dr wadley thank you very much dr hale and i'm always humbled and honored to be in your presence i respect thank you, and admire in terms of the fullness of who you are and i'm um, always have a heart full of thanksgiving for the opportunity to minister to uh the people of god whom you have been uh, pastor to and founder for so many years. You've already pointed out that this is the week that leads to Calvary and beyond Calvary to, um, mm -hmm. to the resurrection. A and uh, so it begins officially with Palm Sunday. And on Palm Sunday, uh, I, I doubt if anybody could have seen the betrayal of Judas, the desertion of the disciples, the uh, the the backing down of Peter, or, or, or what happened in terms of the sentiments of the trial crowd that gathered, and if there is anything that we learn in the course of this week, it is not to be seduced by short-term yeah. glory, because short-term glory when it is occurring, seems to be an eternal experience. And I imagine when we look at all that Jesus had been through in the course right. of the three years of his ministry, who is to say that he would not have wanted this moment to linger? And, and, and his example gives us some lessons in terms of not being seduced by short-term glory. Uh, what, what happened after the Palm Sunday uh, parade? He went to the temple and uh, he cleansed it, but he went to the temple also because it was the place of prayer and sacrifice because our churches and places of worship are not perfect. They cannot be perfect because they make up, we make up the membership and the leadership but they are still places of prayer. And that's why the scripture reminds us, do not neglect the assembling of the saints. And so he goes to the place of prayer. How do we uh, manage to escape of the glory of, the, the seduction of short-term glory? First of all, we go to places of prayer. And, 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 and we, we can pray then the, the words of the psalmist, search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me, yeah. and touch my mind, see if there's any wicked way in me. Lead me in the way everlasting. And so after he leaves the imperfect place of prayer that still had power enough to give him the strength that he needs, he uh, proceeded to fulfill his purpose because each of us has a purpose God has a vision for each of our lives that is greater than any vision we can have for ourselves and others 
can have for us. And we need to remember that as we go through moments of frustration and seasons of change, when we ask ourselves, what am I doing here? And, and why am I still here? And what's happening around us? We need to remember that all of us have been created for a purpose. And that vision often takes us into some interesting places where we our hearts are broken at times and which our faith seem in vain at times and in which mm. we see the shadow side of people and as a hopelessly addicted a fan of star wars in which we see the dark side of the force and 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 so but when we have been looking at short-term glory we go to a place of prayer then we are receive a renewal of the purpose for which we have come and 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 i need to remind all of us who have members of our family that one of our purposes is to be in intercession for us and and so he received the prayer in place of worship. He received the power to continue his purpose. And we're so glad that he continued his purpose because, yeah. because of his purpose, we were able to transcend from brokenness to breakthrough from sin to salvation and uh, from trouble to thanksgiving and a testimony. And, and so he goes through the rest of the week renewed and even when he has to agonize for a season that is a place of prayer that gives him uh, as i've already stated the power to face whatever he would face and and this season this week we are called to be and thank you Dr. Hale, for your vision in terms of setting aside this week as a place of prayer, because some of us are struggling with the changes in our life because we have taken too seriously short-term glory. And, and so after he, he um, spends time of renewal in worship and prayer power, he proceeds to his purpose. And the interesting thing about the vision of God is that it has long-term implications. And, and so as Jesus uh, makes the decision that he will face Calvary with whatever Calvary uh, brings to him, we celebrate Easter Sunday as a reminder that God is faithful. And yeah. I need to say that to some of us who are going to seasons of stress and strain. Do not be deceived or carried away who are riding waves of glory because mm. if those that glory is not of God, it is short term. Yes, Remember sir. this when we are going through experiences that we never expected when we started following the Lord, that no matter what happens, God is faithful. Yes, and, and we is. have to sometimes trust the faithfulness of God who has brought us this far. This is a tough time for many of us. But mm. remember, the Lord has not brought us this far to set us up for failure. And That's if right. God has been faithful thus far, God will continue to be faithful. We yes, serve sir. a long-term uh, God with a long, an eternal God with a long-term vision for us. Yes. And so whoever you are, uh, 
do not look back at former glory because there is a latter glory yes that sir. god has for us for we are the sons and the daughters and the children of god and it does not yet appear what we shall be but we know this yes when sir. He shall appear we shall be like him for we shall see him as he is and hmm. so as palm sunday demonstrated the uh short term uh the seduction the possible seduction of short-term glory this week the rest of the week demonstrates god's faithfulness when we try to when we trust him during difficult moments and when tuesday wednesday and thursday seem to contradict everything that we experienced on sunday it ain't over because god yes, still has a vision for you let let us yes, pray. into your presence we come gracious god we thank you for your faithfulness we confess oh god that there have been times when we have uh, relapsed because the road that leads to the our ultimate victory has held surprising attacks from the enemy and desertions uh. from those whom we love and trust in. But we thank you that you are faithful. And so yes, we pray, Lord. God, that during the ups and the downs of life, that we will remember your faithfulness in times past and that mm -hmm. we will take heart in following through on your vision and your purpose because we know that there is still work for us to do. We still have a charge to keep a God to glorify, a never dying soul to save, fitted for the sky. Thank you mm -hmm. for this moment of worship and prayer. Thank you for the vision of this pastor who has in her passion for her people set aside this as a season for prayer, not simply of shopping and business as usual, but a season of prayer. We yeah. submit to your holy, righteous, faithful will. And we pray now for a new and fresh anointing of your Holy Spirit, a mm. renewal of the gifting and the power that we need to press our way through to victory in mm. the mighty and matchless name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Do we offer this prayer and that with thanksgiving. Yes, Amen. God. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Father, we praise you and glorify you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Dr. Wadley, for that word. Thank you for reminding us that the temple is not only a place of cleansing, but it's a place of prayer where we can be reconnected with our purpose, the reason why God sent us to earth in the first place and not be seduced by short-term opportunities for glory. And thank you for reminding us that God is faithful because some of us are going through difficult times right now and there are difficult times ahead, but when we keep our eyes on God and when we stay in prayer, we are reminded that God, oh, I love this, that God has a long-term purpose mm -hmm. for our lives. Mm -hmm. And I am grateful for that because the more we live, we think that we're gonna live, outlive our purpose, but never with God. You reminded us of that. Thank you, sir. You 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 got it. You still got it. <laughs> you keep on preaching and teaching. I've been listening to you for many, many years. I won't tell them how long, but many, many years. And I've just watched Dr. Wadley continue to be faithful in his preaching and teaching and preparation and faithful to let God use him. And so he gets stronger and better 
every time I hear him, more decisive with the word. It's, it's powerful, sir. And so I want to thank you for that. And thank you for coming on board with us tonight. So my brothers and sisters, thank you again for being here. We're going to continue to pray. Like I asked you last night, I want you to get off this call and but stay connected to God. Spend time mm -hmm. in prayer and reflection and meditation. If you need to, you can go online and rewatch the broadcast. It will be there. And so you can watch it as many times as you want. But spend some time letting the Lord minister to you through the words that Dr. Watley has spoken to us tonight. I did that last night. I tell you, I had joy all night and all joy today, and I intend to continue that. I have some news that I want to share with you. I want to share it before Sunday because I don't want um, the word to get out and, and you not hear it from me. Um, <laughs> Geraldine Warren, who is a member of our cleaning crew, had a heart attack last night and she actually had it at the church. We got her to the hospital, but she did not make it. And so I would ask that you would be praying for Geraldine Warren's family. I will give you more details about when the service will be at a later time, but I didn't want another day to pass without you knowing exactly what has happened. And so I ask that you would be praying for her family, for her daughters, for her sisters and brothers and others who love her. So we have others in our church who need your prayers. And I just ask that you will be continually praying for the people of Israel and Gaza, that mm -hmm. you be praying for the people of Haiti, mm -hmm. that you be praying for the many nations in Africa mm -hmm. that are at war. Mm -hmm. Pray for peace in the Ukraine as well. Mm -hmm. Russia, where there's been a terrible mm -hmm. uh, terrorist attack. Mm -hmm. Folks, we just need to pray. That's why we're spending this time yeah. on our faces and in God's face. God said, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray, seek my face, yeah. Yeah. turn from their wicked ways, then will I turn from heaven, hear yeah. their prayers, and heal the land. Yeah. And so thank you all again. Tomorrow night, the Reverend Dr. Gina Marcia Stewart, my bestie from uh, <laughs> Memphis, Tennessee, Memphis. You know, she and Dr. Um, Dr. Flake, I call them the Memphis Mafia. And so both of them are from Memphis, Tennessee. <laughs> but we ask that you'll be praying for her as she prepares and continue to pray for Dr. Flake and Dr. Watley as the Lord uses them throughout this week and for the rest of their lives, that they will continually be strong and mighty in him. Have a good night. I love you.